Let's start off our video with a tea. With agave. Wild raspberry hibiscus. And we are doing green tea passion for maca. Yes. So I'm gonna share with you guys what my husband's lunch is gonna be. I'm just gonna make him a quick salad. Um, sometimes we just do like a quick salad for him. We don't always do like unhealthy. We try to do healthy. He doesn't have anywhere to warm up his food, so I have to always do cold lunches. We do thermals. We just we do the best we can with what we have and with the choices that he has. I don't have spinach, but yeah. And ew. Oh wow. Real life, guys, this is rotten. No, 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 I'm not gonna try to, no, 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 justify it, it's rotten. And I don't always make his salads the same, I just basically work with what I have in the fridge. Oh, let me add a little more. Then on like a separate little container, oh my gosh, am I even in frame? On a second container, like on a separate container, I'll do like croutons or just whatever I have. If I have some, um, like, Oh my gosh, I can't even, almonds? Almonds, like almonds or cashews or anything like that just to add a little something else to the salad. And I'll add it to like a container like this. I get these from the 99 cent store. It looks like it's gonna fit, yeah. So then I'll do that. And then these containers I also get from the 99 cent store. They come in handy because sometimes he returns them, sometimes, he's, sometimes he doesn't. And I don't mind if he doesn't return them because they're just, and then I'll put some ranch in here. Um, yeah, I don't mind if he doesn't return them his fork right on top. Oh wait, oh my gosh, no, that is not. Oh my gosh, okay. Never mind, rewind, stop. Drop the mic. <laughs> you have to add the tuna. I add, <laughs> oh my gosh. Or um, I'll do, sometimes I'll even do some with just bacon. Oh my gosh, the fork. Get it together. Okay, there we go. Now we can close it. Okay, no, now it's not gonna close. Oh my gosh, total fail. Oh my gosh, now this is opening. Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Okay, now are you gonna close? Are you gonna break? Are you gonna close? What's gonna happen? Okay, now it doesn't wanna close because of the tuna. Okay, this usually works. Okay, let's not pull our hair out. Let's not lose anything. Let's press it down and then why isn't this closing? Now I'm thinking it's not. Oh, come on, close! It's not good enough. Is it because of this? Why isn't it closing? I heard it snap. I don't even think this is the right lid. Let me see. <laughs> it, oh, wait. Yeah, it was. Well, no, this isn't the right lid either. Oh my gosh, this is the right lid. Let me see. Is it this? Is it, is it that? No, it doesn't seem like it's the right lid. I kind of feel like rub <laughs> tying a rubber band on this. Why it's not closing, it's getting on my nerves. Ugh, I'm gonna have to switch it. Should I, why isn't it closing? Okay, I just wanna make sure this is the right lid. It is the right lid. Now that this salad bowl has been molested. Okay, there we go, right? It still doesn't want to close. And you know what it is? It's this one right here. There we go. Finally. There. Ah, that took a million years. I go through the headache of printing it out, printing the recipe out. So I went old school way with the sloppy writing and the mistakes and everything. So if you want to go and check out the actual real recipe from the actual person that put it up on the internet, it is called chocolatecoveredkatie.com. And you just go to vegan chocolate cookies and then this recipe will come up. I just basically put all the ingredients. You can feel free to screenshot it. And on the bottom I put like, I mean it's cookies is just, you mix the dry, you mix the wet, then you combine, then you mix, 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 then you put in a baking sheet and then there's a certain amount of time that it has to go in there and then lot, 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 lot. So I just put dry and wet, mix separate, then combine, put in fridge. Oh, and then you have to put it in the fridge. Yep, we gotta wait two long hours. All right, let's get the ingredients. No? Okay.
Okay, we have all the ingredients. Now, I completely, completely ran out of my vegan chocolate chips. I will be using regular chocolate chips. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but you guys, there is vegan chocolate chips out there. Let's just pretend these are vegan, okay? Okay, I have like a little tiny bit of cranberries in this bag, so I thought to myself, why not? Why not? So what I'm gonna do first is I try to try to organize everything. Okay, I'm gonna do the one cup of oat flour. I have to let's put you over here. I have to grind this up. So that is what I'm going to do. I am going to grind it up. Let me go get my darn machine. Let's look for the darn attachments. Is this wet? Is this clean? I don't know. One cup of oat flour or spelt flour. So I'm gonna do half a cup of oat and then half a cup of regular all-purpose. In here of oat flour. Okay. And go! Oh. It would help if I connected, right? Right. Oat flour. Oh my God, I haven't even grabbed a bowl. And okay, let's put this guy back. Let's go. Dry. I mean, wet, dry. How was it? We're gonna dry the, we're gonna dry. We're gonna add the dry on this side. And then we're, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, I'm supposed to be keeping this like nice and closed and it's, the bag is actually ripped. Way to go, hopefully there's no critters in here. Or you're not supposed to like squish the flour down and you're supposed to like, I don't even know, you're supposed, I don't even know how to do this. But you have to get enough in there. And then you gotta kinda, is this the way guys? Am I doing it right? Somebody call the cooking channel. Okay, right? No, is that leveled? Oh, I think I took too much. I don't know how to do this, guys. Okay, it's going in there. Not gonna be here all day. This messy guy back, it's all over my counter now. Thank you very much for participating in the mess of the kitchen. Um, thank you, you, you can go home now. There's half a, oh, where are my teaspoons? Here we go, here's more. Half a teaspoon, what? Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. There's that. Brown sugar, I'm so glad because this has been in there for far. Where is the viewfinder for the, where I'm supposed to look? It's been in here far too long. It looks like it's about a fourth in there. I'm just gonna throw it all in. Whoa, it kind of looked like it was more. Um, It's okay. The sweeter the better, right? And then instead of adding two packs of the monk fruit stuff, this stuff right here, I'm just gonna add um, one because I, I think I added more than enough of the brown sugar. So then you mix it. It is, wait, the chocolate chips and all that is considered dry, right? Okay, cranberries go in. It was only literally like less than a fourth cup. And these are my vegan chocolate chips. So remember, we're gonna pretend that they're all vegan. And how much is it, one third cup? You know what, I'm just gonna add a handful. I am not gonna be bothered by looking for my one third cup. So that is my one fourth cup, or one third cup. Then this bowl is way too big for that job. We are back with the better contender, okay. So it says add two tablespoons of oil. I'm just using grapeseed oil. I'm sure you can use coconut oil. Why, why didn't I use coconut oil? I actually have coconut oil. I am spilling all over because the lid is not on tight. I don't know, it's not working anymore. I need to get me a new one. Okay, two tablespoons of oil. And it says one fourth teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Oh, it actually does say pure vanilla extract. But, I mean, let's get real. I don't, I think I paid like, I don't know, $5 for this. And I think those are all the, oh wait, no, we need milk. 
right? Yeah, two tablespoons of milk. <laughs> Let's continue using these fancy Pioneer women. I got them on sale for like $3 at Walmart. They were on clearance, so I think regular price were like $7 or something like that, and I got them for $3. Score! And they're really good quality. They're like heavy. Anyways, anyways, tablespoons of, right? Two tablespoons of milk. I am using, ah! And spilling, oh no, no, not that way. Okay, my son needs my assistance. Give me one second. Yeah, make sure you get it all over the counters. So two, is that right? Yeah. Ugh. Okay, back. Let's put the, you don't even belong here. You go over here in the sink. You guys are done. Have a good day. Let's put you back. And the baking soda, get out of here. Nobody needs you. Chocolate chips, get out of here. Monk fruit, get out of here. Everybody, get out of here. You Right. Get all this out of the way. Oh, separating, whatever. Okay. Right? Yeah. Then mix all together. And then you just basically. I feel like I'm missing something. I put the sugar, the flour. Why is this looking so thick? One cup of white oil or stuff. Am I supposed to use my hands? Should I use my hands? Yeah, it needs more. Give me a minute. Look, like I'm gonna mess these up as per usual. It doesn't really need much more though. It just needs like, I added maybe a, like a dash more. Let's get in there. Yeah, I need it too. Your hands just combine everything so much better. I mean, it looks doughy. I don't know. I don't know if I should add more milk. I feel like I pretty much used almost the same ingredients she did. So I don't know what may be causing. Okay, this is looking much better. You know what the dough is supposed to look like. It's supposed to be doughy. <laughs> I don't know, like sticky kind of, like put together. All right, now we need to prep our oven and we are gonna preheat the oven to 325. Ah! So there's my, my cookie sheet. And guess what guys, I finally got some parchment paper. Okay. okay, there we go. Now we're gonna, I'm just gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna try to make them as even as possible. Okay, so we are ready for a taste test. These are the cookies. They feel a little on the tough side. I probably shouldn't have put them in there for that long. Back up so they can see you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test it. Ah! Oh. Woo! -hoo. They're good. They're good, huh? Wow! Amazing! Oh my god! Look at, well, you're not gonna be able to see, but they're nice and thick. Um, they didn't expand much, so I don't think there would be a problem with putting them like kind of close. Oh my God, they're so good. Really take it back. Um, I think the amount of time that I left them in there is good because the outside is crunchy, but the inside is really soft. It's kind of like, I don't know, almost bready inside. Wow. These are a must. I'm gonna print out the, the recipe. And 